remember at the time when we were sequencing the record and we were like, what song should come next? And we we're like, well, look, we should start it with Spin and then side B will start with, it, or side A will end with Divine Intervention and then it'll feel like this whole thing. And at the time, I never thought much about playing it live all the way through, but now it's kind of funny, you know, like to uh, be screaming as loud as I can and then I'm like, oh, hey guys, here's my acoustic guitar. story behind this song, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll indulge me, is that, uh, is that all right? I've been, I've been trying not to talk too much. You were around that time, what, you moved here? Yeah, hey, I remember you. But we, uh, uh, so, here's the deal. I was, uh, I was living in, um, I was living in New York, and I had this friend that lived down on 4th and 2nd, and, uh, we would go... Right down from 2nd Avenue was Avenue A, and we used to call it the A Run, because there were all the bars we would go to. There was Hi-Fi, first internet jukebox in the whole entire United States. And then there was a place called Lucy's, Niagara, which was uh, owned by Jesse Mullen, still is, and I don't know if you're a fan. Anyways, uh, all that doesn't mean anything, but here's the deal. We would, uh, the bars there would stay up until 4 in the morning. It's a terrible idea, but that's what they would do. Not a fake ID, because remember, I was 11 years old at this time. <laughs> that, that guy just yelled, so am I! <laughs> you're, you're my new best friend. So anyways, we would, we would, uh, so we would go on this, and but on this Avenue A run, there was a dog park. Now, I was living in Brooklyn, and I had this uh, tiny little apartment. And uh, with my buddy Angel, who you know, and, and yeah, and then uh, he does merch for Sean Mendez now, if you can believe that shit. And then, yeah, he's in Iceland. I talked to him earlier today. Anyway, so I was in this little apartment. I always wanted a dog, but I felt bad having it in that little tiny apartment, you know. So, so what we would do was on the Avenue A run. Once we would get out of whatever we were doing, we would go over to the dog park, and we would sit there and we would jump the fence. Because we figured, if we get there around four, we don't have to wait too long till some real responsible dog owner with a real nice manicured little dog is gonna come by and let us touch it. <laughs> because they're getting up for work around five in the morning, you know, they work on Wall Street and all this. They got a lot to do, but they still gotta walk their dogs. Thing is, when you jump a dog fence at four in the morning, you don't realize that two hours later, it's not open until eight in the morning. Two hours and a lot of talking to do, if you understand, yeah, understand, you understand. So that's where this stupid little song came from, and I realized how simple it is, and then, but that's what makes it one of my favorites. Also, it's in a completely different key than what I'm playing right now, but I'm just gonna keep going along with it. <laughs> fuck you, man, I got the microphone, I'll do what I want. So look, but also, song we play after this because after this one we're gonna go right into the next one but I want you to know that the same friend that the song after this is the same friend that I sat with at that dog park in New York City the same friend I sat with down at a dog park in Miami ladies and gentlemen it, it, it was a long ride down there she got she finally did get a dog though it's, it's a it's a little Pomeranian she named it Batman this song's called Divine Intervention yeah Sorry for all that talking, that was ridiculous. 